the Biden administration has said it will release millions of barrels of oil from the country's strategic petroleum reserve to counter these rising gas prices. Okay, let's dig more into this. I'm now joined by Andrew Lippo, president of Lippo Oil Associates. He joins us from Houston, of course, deep down in the heart of Texas. Thanks very much. We appreciate you being here. Okay, I'm going to be right, honest. I'm not shocked in the least by that big oil made big profits, while globally people are struggling to make ends meet amid rampant inflation. People are going to be furious as they take in this information, at least the, the consumers. Well, they certainly are because the oil industry are benefiting from the high natural uh, gas prices as well as the crude oil prices, which have steadily risen in light of Russia's invasion of the Ukraine. But even before then, we needed higher prices in order to extract more oil out of the ground. And of course, the, cus the consumer is seeing this translated into higher gasoline and diesel prices at their local convenience store. Yeah. Now, as uh, John Terrett laid out, I thought, very well in our story leading up to you, look, what's the incentive for these uh, oil companies to reduce their prices? Well, there's various uh, points at which the oil companies are making money. The producers, of course, are making their money as they get the oil out of the ground. Then we have the refiners who are also showing very good profits as refining capacity is currently constrained around the world. Mm -hmm. That would be companies like Valero or PBF, Phillips 66 or Marathon who have to go out into the market and buy crude oil. And then, of course, we have the retailers. And I'd point out that Exxon and Shell at earlier this year, the congressional hearings stated they own zero retail service stations. So we have three different pieces of the oil industry that are making money in this environment. Okay, let's put this in perspective, because if I'm not mistaken, the U.S. produces more oil than any country. Is that accurate or is that not accurate, besides Saudi Arabia? No, no that actually is quite accurate. Uh, U.S. production is about 12 million barrels a day. Saudi production and Russian production are both under that figure. Okay, so... Exxon, Shell, and Chevron making big profits, but specifically, how is that affecting consumers? I mean, let's get down to the nitty gritty. How much more are people paying for fuel as they're coping with kind of runaway inflation? Well, we have to say, what do we think is the reasonable price of crude oil and gasoline? Uh, so I think the consumer, in, in their mind, they would like to be paying two and a half dollars a gallon for gasoline, and currently, the national average is far above that. It's about um, $3.76. Uh, $3 wow, I know a lot of people would like to pay $3.76 out in California. Now, so far, Joe Biden's administration hasn't had an answer to this. Midterms around the corner and releasing fuel from the SPR, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, it, it really is a drop in the bucket. Well, releasing uh, the reserves actually bought the industry time to figure out what the supply disruption might or might not have been as Russia invaded the Ukraine and we in the U.S. as well as the U.K. and other countries imposed a ban on the purchases of Russian supplies. So the industry was looking around for alternatives and the SPR release brought us some alternative supply. The one thing it did not do was get any additional oil production out of the ground, and that's really what the world is crying for. It needs more oil, it needs more natural gas, not only here in the U.S., but throughout the world as the economies have recovered from the pandemic. Let's take a little more global look. OPEC and Russia have pretty much signaled what they are going to do in the future, and that will do nothing to lower prices. Now, on Monday, OPEC is slated to release its outlook. What do you expect, Andrew? Well, I think, you know, OPEC is going to be quite conservative. They're going to cite a, a recession around the world, COVID lockdowns in China as putting a dampening effect on demand. And OPEC, what we've seen is taken proactive uh, moves in the oil market over the last couple of years in order to uh, keep the prices high and their revenues high to support their domestic budgets. Okay, we have about 30 seconds. Quickly. Do you think the record U.S. profits are going to do anything to, in essence, perhaps shame these, coal, these oil companies to drop prices just a bit? Well, I think the oil companies are going to say it's the market that's controlling the price. I don't think you're going to see them 
preemptively reducing the price. They're going to look at what we see on the futures market every single day, and that's how crude oil is priced throughout the world. Mm. Okay. Uh, Andrew Lippo, thank you so much. President of Lippo Oil Associates, we, we appreciate it.